Hi, I'm Kristen Anderson and I'm at the Mount Vernon Middle School Music Room. Good morning, Mount Vernon, Lisbon. Good morning, I'm Chris from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm visiting Mount Vernon this week. Good morning, Mount Vernon and Lisbon. Hi, I'm Nicole from Southeast Lynn. I just want to say good morning, Mount Vernon and Lisbon. Good morning, good morning Mount Vernon and Lisbon. and Lisbon. I'm Joe. You are, and I'm Kim. And we are promoting the awesomeness of the Mount Vernon and Lisbon area. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Yeah. yeah. So we got some good stuff in here. Shall we get started? I'm ready if you are. Okay. Did you have a good night last night? You know how all the talk shows, they talk about their nights and where they went, what gala they went to, and what opening they went to. And yeah, no galas. No. I just watched a movie. What did you watch? Mystic River. Oh, yeah. Like and you know what? If you watch movies that you haven't seen in a long time, if you have my brain, you don't remember you've seen them. <laughs> and so I'm watching this whole movie going, who did it? And then the minute I, I was like, oh, I remember, but it was towards the end, so that was good. But yes. You, good you remember just before they told you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So they didn't tell me, I figured it out. Mount Vernon Elizabeth, this is your breaking news. Volume 151, no, number 43, October 22nd. 2020, that's a lot of twos. Yes, it is. Yeah, a lot of twos. A lot of twos. So, uh, we had the first snow of the year. Maybe you saw it. Or maybe I climbed back in bed and pulled the covers over my oh. head until the next afternoon. Well, there's a nice picture in here. Yes, The there friends is. from the Novak Estates neighborhood in Lisbon built a little snowman on Monday. Well, it was a cute picture. Did you take that? Nope. It was good packing snow. Oh, really? No man making snow. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Well, it didn't stick, so I didn't have to shovel my driveway, but I imagine some people did. The sidewalks and the driveways were still warm. Yeah. And so they didn't need to. I don't but think the, so. But it gave enough moisture to that snow that you could make, as you can see, some lovely snow. Snow, snow people. All right. So Monday, October 19th, saw the first snowfall fall of the 2021 winter season. Yes. Winter, I guess it's here. No, it's not. Okay, it's still fall. It's still fall. All right. And if you haven't driven, you know, to Cedar Rapids or Iowa City or someplace and looked at the gorgeous, it's going to be peak this weekend. Oh, the peak. leaves. The leaves are stunning. Yeah. Went over to Coral But Coral. I all think this, this snowfall kind of ruined it. Well, I don't Because it made it, turned it into winter instead of fall. I think that it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. We're going to have fall. I don't know. I went either. over to Kroll's and got some pumpkins and corn and things to make a little display, which the squirrels promptly drug out of into the yard and ate. But it was a great little investment. Well, all the pumpkins are frozen now. They're yeah. frozen from that, aren't they? No, it didn't get that cold. Oh, I'm that cold. But you know, I have some chrysalis, with tomato worm chrysalis, that are not turning into moths because they are chilly. They're like, no, thank you. Chilly. They don't want to turn into a moth. They, they don't want to crawl want to, into their little... They want to stay in their little warm yeah. cocoon. Actually, my daughter told me moths have cocoons, butterflies have chrysalis. There's your little educational <laughs> moment for today. Carrying on! She is clearly making the most of the hybrid learning. Yes, I am. <laughs> I have proctored so many things. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm going to take a drink of coffee so you can talk. Okay, here we go. All right, so hybrid learning is going to continue. This is an Ann Gruber Miller story. Mount Vernon expects to return to full in school in January. Well, that's interesting. Well, I think you have to have a plan. Well, you've got to have a plan. And that's the plan, but I'm, but I'm completely trusting of Dr. Greg Batenhorst and his leadership, and I'm comfortable that he will adapt and change as is needed. Okay, well, there's a nice little sidebar in here. Yeah. Um, Superintendent Badenhorst, speaking of, had received approximately equal numbers of emails for going back to traditional school and for staying in a hybrid model. And he sees both upsides and downsides to the hybrid model. Upsides to the current hybrid model include relationship building is a plus. I guess that's really important, isn't it? Can provide personal, timely academic help to students, okay? For example, one teacher caught a problem in one day that would usually take several weeks to identify. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, social distancing and cleaning areas can be done more successfully, clearly. Students are less likely to get lost in the shuffle. They get more one-on-one -on -one attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. I guess that would make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Downside, uh, the scope and sequence of learning wasn't written for a hybrid model, especially when teachers didn't have two to three years to develop it, right? right. So they're all kind of, yeah, as we all are during this, kind of floundering, trying to figure right. out their agenda's up. Actually, they're doing a remarkable job oh, with such a short time to do As it are we all Man. trying to figure this whole dumb thing Those out. Those teachers are remarkable. Yeah. Just remarkable. So anyway, there you go. Yeah. So Lisbon schools now, uh, a men's return to learn plan. So the Lisbon schools will be looking at opening the schools up to outside groups and volunteers as long as they follow COVID-19 guidelines set forth by the school. Yeah. This is a Nathan Countryman story. Well, no wonder I That's that. why it's so well written, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. We are lucky. The school board reviewed some procedures at its meeting October 14th. One discussion followed a new definition of close contact by the Iowa Department of Public Health. So the guidance states that people would not be considered in close contact with a person with a positive COVID-19 test if both were wearing cloth masks. The amount of time is irrelevant according to the IBPH. This is different than CDC guidelines which define close contact as within six feet of someone for more than 15 minutes regardless of face covering. And that changed yesterday. And that changed yesterday. Yes. So, so make sure. How do you keep up with all this, Nathan? <laughs> it's Don't exhausting, know. I bet. It's exhausting. Because it did. It literally changed last night. It's all exhausting for all of us. Mm -hmm. I'm exhausted. Are you? Yeah. So, so here's some good news. Mount Vernon Family Counseling has received an IEDA challenge grant. Yeah, I'm sure you had something to do with that. Well, a Mount Vernon-based counseling business is investing in a new uptown home and is getting a boost from the Iowa Main Street program. So the IEDA awarded the Mount Vernon Lisbon Community Development Group, that's the organization I work for, a 75,000 grant for the Mount Vernon Family Counseling Building on 2nd Avenue North. So we call this building Zoe's Pet Deli, right? Yes. With a big, huge mural on the side of it, yep. right? So, this. yes. So. Uh, Tiffany Zrivka purchased the building, she applied for this grant, and she's going to open uh, eventually when the, when the work is done, uh, something called Mount Vernon Family Counseling. So this is the same uh, grant that like Chameleons yep. did and... Bauman got, um, Bauman's got, got one last year. Yes, yeah. 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 So uh, we have the option of getting this once a year, but it's really competitive and you don't always... Yes. Yes. So we've applied for it a number of times, and we don't always get it, but we've gotten it several times. Because we have a guy who runs the well, CDG that's really good, and he, we, we might not want to talk about who it is, but we're lucky to have you. Oh, thank you. Well, we're all lucky to have you. All right. Tommy Romer wrote a story? What? Yep. Tommy uh -huh. Romer? He looks so big now. I just remember him as he a tiny is. little kid. So, what did you do after the director's storm, he says. Well, I used it as an opportunity to make one of my best friends a baseball bat. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, he <laughs> made a baseball bat for his best friend. <laughs> and then he was walking around, oh, hi, Mr. Bat, you're my best friend. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I will tell you about making the first bat, going viral and making 100 plus more bats. Out of the wood from the trees that fell down? Mm -hmm. How cool is that? What an amazing thing! Huh. So there's a picture of him laying by all these bats that he made, and the picture of him with several bats he created. Look okay. at him go! That family. Well, that's real talent. I wouldn't even know how to start. That family. They are just givers. Well. Givers, givers, givers. You know what? We've got a lot of creative people in this community, and yep. this is just a really cool example of it. And Tommy Romberg is not a little kid anymore. Look at him go. How exciting. So, bad news, uh, there's no trick-or-treat hours planned in Mount Vernon, Nathan, so you're you know, going to have to put your pirate suit in the yeah. closet this year. You will not be able to go trick-or-treating, buddy. Do you know what that means? That means I just bought 150 pieces of candy that I'm going to have to divide <laughs> into three bags to give to my grandchildren. <laughs> right, well, Actually, six. If I as long as you don't bring it in here so that we oh, end up eating it or meat? something. No. We don't need that, do we? No. Don't need either. Either. <laughs> All right. So let's see, fall brush pickup, important. You know what? I love that little leaf vacuum thing and the people who run it. Yeah. Because oh, because that's when they do the leaf vacuuming, they actually go to the trees with their vacuum and they vacuum them off. So all the dust is off the leaves. What they, they do is they gently tap on the tree and say, hello, we're here, would you please fall now? And they all fall and they suck them up and then we go on. Oh. No, there's a, there used to be a cartoon 
what is that cartoon? Teletubbies. And they had a little vacuum on that show called Nunu. And every time I see that thing, it reminds me of Nunu, <laughs> with the arms sucking up the leaves. Mm, okay. Yeah. But nice work. Yeah. yeah, nice work. And they get around and they're busy. So, the fall brush pickup days for the city of Mount Vernon yes. are during the weeks starting October 26th, so I believe that's next week. Mm -hmm. That is? Yeah, and November 23. So, uh, you got to get your lead, your brush is picked up in quadrants beginning in the northwest on Mondays, northwest, east on Tuesdays, southwest on Wednesdays, and southeast on Thursday. Brush should be set by the curb by 7 a.m. on your pickup day. So, this is brush. Not leaves. leaves. Fall brush pickup. You are correct, and I am oh, wrong. Oh, I am incorrect because I was talking about leaves, yeah. which I well, love that. and that's my fault because I, I was, I was. You led me astray. I know. I was connecting it to the story we did last week or the week before mm -hmm. about the leaf vacuuming. We are just like it? lemmings. We just followed him right off the. Cliff. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep going. There's some. COVID-19 stories in here that are important. Yes. Uh, we've talked a little bit about it already, and uh, I'll let you read it yourself. It's important information. You shouldn't be getting it from me. You should be getting it directly from your yes. news source, right? Yes, All absolutely, right. absolutely. All right. I think we got a back jump. Is it a back jump? I think there's some back jumps okay. going on here. A lot of letters to the editor this week, so uh, just Love know that much. and uh, read them all, ladies and gentlemen, before you go to the polls, right? Yes. All right. All right, so what else we got? <laughs> oh my goodness. Cornell right. College is streaming the original House Party movie? No, their, their own House Party movie. It's when they streaming created it. Streaming original? Oh. That's why I put original in the headline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wasn't that kid in play? Yep. <laughs> what in the world? That movie, really, of all the movies to stream. Oh. Okay, let me read the story. Maybe that makes sense. However, I did love me some Kid and Play. <laughs> so don't be talking bad about Kid and Play. Okay, well, looking for something to stream this weekend? Are you? Always. Okay. Cornell College Department of Theater and Dance has an original film uh, that they're calling House Party that will be streaming this weekend. The film features special guests, the Pork Tornadoes, heartwarming humor. Oh, I love me heartwarming humor. Love it. Crazy costumes, right up our alley, Kim. Dance and puppets. I'm so in. What? Yeah. Film features Cornell senior Jenna McAway. House Party follows the story of Jenna stuck at home and all alone as she finds magical worlds of music behind every door. So it was conceived and directed by um, Scott Olinger. Uh, Jenna's story was written around a choice of tunes that will have you singing along. Okay. I love that. And you know what? I just love the fact that these colleges, my son just did a stre uh, did light design for a streaming um, production last weekend. And I'm here in my house putting it on my television and I'm watching them do this in New Paltz, New York. Yeah. I love that these people are just trying to figure out ways to do art and do theater in this weird time. It's weird. So congratulations, Cornell, for making it work. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, let's check it out. Yes. Okay, so we're into sports now. Sports, sports, and sports. So Mount Vernon rallies for first round win. Hmm. Where are you? I'm on... 11. I don't know. A11. Okay. Uh, the Mount oh, Vernon God. football team dug deep to down a tough and determined squad from Bitten Shellsburg. Oh my goodness. Mustangs came through with the game on the line to post a 25-15 victory on Friday, October 16th, in the first round of the Class 2A playoffs. Mount Vernon will host uh, West Liberty Friday in the second round. So there you so go. So hosting means it's here? I don't think that'll mean yes. it's here. Okay. I don't think they do that online. Football online. How do you do that, Nathan? I don't know. Uh, live stream. I don't know. Don't ask me how to I'm thinking about those football video games. Well, and seriously, you know, this live streaming thing, four of the kids were at New Paltz, one yeah. was in Brooklyn, one was in a rural residential yeah. area, and they were all together doing it, and they were switching screens and, and handing things, and the other one was taking it. I mean, it was just like, only young. Only the young can do this. You don't see any old people like us doing Zoom theater. No. <laughs> I think we do Zoom theater once a week when we read this newspaper. Oh. 
I'm gonna pull out my puppet right now and start doing some more sports. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's All go. right. Keep moving. The lions. No. Nope. The lions. Ah, run over North Cedar. That's a treat. Okay. It's nice. To, <laughs> it's nice to have a good running game come playoff time, such as the one the Lisbon Lions displayed Friday. Yeah. Okay. Lisbon ran a rough shot. Rush shot over North Cedar and posted a dominant 54-6 victory. Whoa, I think they're ready for the playoffs. They kind of creamed them, didn't they? Yeah. Whoa. Oh my. And that posted it uh, uh, in the opening round of the victory in the opening round. Sorry, I'm reading again and again. Opening round of the playoffs of Walmer Field, marking the program's first postseason win since 2016. I think they call that a trouncing. That's a trouncing. Mm -hmm. So anyway, well that's interesting. That's stuff. exactly awesome. All right. Congratulations. So the cross country teams, oh. both third at conference. Run, run, run. Yeah, Mount Vernon, Lisbon, boys and girls, cross country teams both finished third at the Walmart Conference. And that was held Thursday, October 15 in Williamsburg. Congratulations. Boys placed three runners in the top 20. Girls team put two runners in the top 10 and scored 115 points to finish behind Sullivan. Oh, darn that Sullivan. If they only knew they were a dirty word on this show. Let's move on. Sullen. This is promoting the awesomeness of the Mount Vernon and Lizzo. Oh, community. right. Okay. So there's uh, some fall home and garden stories in here. Oh, yes. I think it's kind of important. Making the most of your backyard, staying home due to COVID concerns, leads to a boom in outdoor living spaces. People want to live outside. Booming. Yeah. That's People want to shop outside. Well, let's hope so, because what do we have on Saturday? Saturday, we're doing our Shop Small event again. You and me, come see us And downtown. we just had that meeting, and you know, the the one we did last month, we closed off the street there. Yes. So we could uh, have uh, it, the event inside the street. Yes. And uh, we decided it's not going to be warm enough. Yeah. So uh, we're just doing it. Uh, sidewalk sales, which is fine. We're going to be giving away community cash. Always, yes. Lots of it. There's like twelve hundred dollars in community cash floating around on on Saturday. Look so you really need to come down yeah. and be a part of it because yeah. we give you some money to spend. Yes, it's so, really a fun day. You get yeah. to see the the stores and everybody's walking around, and it's a way to start the holidays and and in our quaint little town of Mount Vernon, yeah. where I just love 40, all those 45 degrees. Not yeah. so bad. No, of course not. And uh, I, uh, I think it's not going to be uh, rainy. Not like today. And if you, if you carry enough bags, you keep your heart rate up. So you stay warm. Oh, that's how it works. Yeah, so you just have to buy enough and stuff. And at the booth, I need to tell you, we're going to have 50 bags that were created by One Mission that we're going to hand out to people. Oh, I love that. Yeah, as well as lots of community cash. So people, come on down. It's time to really just do it. Let's go support our small business. Let's do it. And with that, I think it's time to sing. See you next week. Okay with you? Just what makes that little old dance? What? Think he can move that rubber tree plant. Just tell me. Everyone knows an ant can't swim. Move that rubber tree plant, but he's got what? See you next week. He's got high, high hopes. He's got high hopes.